So today's topic is uh, ganglion aeroma, uh, aeroblastoma, you know, so ganglion uh, aeroblastoma uh, is an uh, intermediate care tumor that uh, arises from the nerve tissues, you know, and uh, an uh, intermediate tumor is one that is between the benign and the malignant. So benign means uh, slow growing and unlikely to spread and uh, malignant means fast growing, aggressive and uh, likely to spread. So this is in between these, uh, benign and malignant. And, uh, and this is a very rare tumor that occurs in children, you know, and, uh, and the tumors of the nervous system have different degrees uh, of uh, uh, differentiation, you know. And the degree of differentiation is based on how the tumor looks like under the microscope. And it can predict whether or not uh, they are likely to spread, you know. Now the benign tumors uh, are less likely to spread and the malignant tumors are aggressive and uh, grow quickly and uh, spread to other parts of the body, you know. Now the uh, ganglion uh, aroma uh, is a benign tumor and uh, neuroblastoma, uh, which uh, is uh, usually the malignant, you know. Now, as you see by the name, you know, ganglion aerom blastoma, you know, so which means that it is between and these two. So it's between the benign and the malignant. Now, the same, most uh, uh, commonly, the symptoms uh, are uh, a lump that can be felt in the abdomen, you know. Uh, the next thing is how to diagnose, you know. So. After the physical examination of your body, your doctor may advise you the further test, you know, or order the further test, you know, like a bone marrow aspiration or the biopsy, you know, just to see uh, under the microscope uh, are those tissues uh, are benign or cancerous, you know, or malignant, you know, and the bone scan, you know, and the CT scan or the MRI or the imaging test, you know, of the affected area and uh, a special blood and urine test so, to see what kind of the hormones are secreted in the blood, you know, and a surgical biopsy uh, to confirm the diagnosis. And the treatment depends on the type of the tumor and uh, it can involve like surgery and possibly chemotherapy and radiotherapy if uh, the cells are malignant, you know. And uh, uh, next thing is what uh, are the prognosis, you know, uh, chances you know what is outlook you know and uh, it depends on how far the tumor has spread you know and uh, whether uh, some areas of the tumor contain more aggressive cancer cells you know so it depends on the stage and the type of the tumor and the general health of the patient and uh, the possible complications include like uh, complications of surgery and uh, radiation and chemotherapy you know and uh, spread of the tumor into the surrounding areas. So these are the possible complications. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information uh, about this one or any other medical condition, you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to subscribe this channel for more informative videos every day and to support this channel. Thank you.